I need to stop travelling by recall book. This is getting intense. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Quasar49, and welcome to the fantastical Somerset Resort of Western Supermare, a.k.a. heaven and also simultaneously hell on Earth. Today on the attraction research vlog, we're going to be taking a look at a place called Funland, which, as you can see in the background, is just opening soon, in the Tropicana. The Tropicana used to be a kind of, I don't know, I think it was a swimming pool and then they took everything out and then it was abandoned for years and years and then eventually after Banksy did a show here I believe uh, it's so somewhat gained a bit of popularity or they kind of started using it for events so at the moment it is a wonderful sunny day and I am really I love this place okay can I just get that out of off my chest I flipping love Western Supermare why is that it's got everything you want in a seaside town it is probably the most amazing seaside town you could ever do. Like, it is the best, okay? You've got awful seaside attractions. You've got, you know, for the most part, the tide always is out. So, you know, it's kind of the nickname for it is Western Super Mud. Um, <laughs> the reason I think it's the best seaside town anywhere in the UK is because it's so bad, but at the same time, on the other end of it, you've got something that is so good. But I will talk about all of that later in another video or something. I may title it, I love Western Supermare. I don't know. Most people call it Wild Western Super Nightmare. It all seems to kick off when we come to Western. It's just, it's the best place ever. I just love it here. But the point is, today we're going to take a look at Funland in the Tropicana. Now, I am no, now I am in no way going on the booster because I, I flipping hate boosters. I really do. I went on one. It's the same exact thing as that. And I just, I, I just can't even. I can't. But it looks like we've got a nice looking Pinfari style roller coaster here. I can already hear the air brakes going. So that's going to be a ton of fun. And it looks like it's really breaking hard. Uh, we've also got a ghost train, it seems. Monster Express. Oh my god, I'm excited for that. There's also apparently a waltzer here, a bunch more thrill rides, because last year, to my knowledge, the fun land at the Tropicana, it wasn't very good. Um, last time I went, the only thing that was moderately interesting was that, uh, the Pinfari-style coaster, which is a wild mouse, and I believe it's owned by... Ah, I can't remember the flipping air brake sound effects of getting me off guard. But actually, fun fact, if you want to know where I got the sound effects for the Pinfari permafrost in uh, the Vision Park Christmas update, this is it! This roller coaster right here is where I came last year to record all of the sound effects. So I went on the ride and I took all of the sound effects of the really heavy air brakes that you will hear um, and all of those kind of sound effects. I just love the sound of these portable roller coasters. You can't get anything better than that. So welcome everyone to Western Supermare. It is a wonderful day here on you know, flipping May the whatever. I don't think, no, it's not May. Is it May? I can't remember. Is it May? Help! I'm getting distracted by the excitement! Anyway, I've actually got a tripod on me though today, and I've got everything prepared. Unlike the last vlog, everything will be stabilised, because for goodness sake, last time it wasn't even really a vlog, it wasn't meant to be that. I was just kind of testing it out and seeing what would uh, work and what wouldn't work, so it wasn't really meant as that. Also, I got a couple of kind of chavs looking at me, and I was really worried that they were going to beat me up or something, because I don't know if you know, but I mean, I'm not very subtle. I'm a Robloxian in the human world, so everybody kind of looks at me a little bit funny as if I'm from a different country when really I'm just from another dimension you know I'm from an alternate dimension where anything is possible not weird at all oh boy 20 tokens and a four bonus tokens Ooh, 20 tokens is a 20 pounds though so a little bit a uh, little bit pricey but let's see what's in here then You know what? I'm starting to think that they do it on purpose. I'm starting... Oh my god! <laughs> I'm starting to think that maybe fun fairs and so on have extremely loud copyrighted music just to deter people from vlogging. I don't know what it is, but I think it probably is the case. 
because to be honest, let's just face it, it's so loud. It's it's like, it, even for a fairground where they're supposed to be like promoting fun, you know, it's a bit too loud. Okay, so I've just taken a quick walk around the site. It looks like we have an amazing, amazing waltzer. I don't know who owns this one, but it's big and it's seriously good looking. You know, you can see the guys just uh, wiping down the windows there. It's really, really pretty. It just keeps getting better and better. Oh yes, it does. Oh yes, it does. So yeah, uh, we're going to make sure that we get on a couple of rides. I've bought 20 tokens, that's 20 pounds. So if you're thinking about coming here, please note that it is tokens only, no wristband system, but that's totally fine. They did have a wristband system last year, but uh, this year I don't think so. It's because they've got a lot better rides in. We've got Per Star, which looks, uh, pretty fun. It's not her star, it's Superstar. I'm an idiot. So yeah, as soon as all the rides are tested and they've gone through the ride inspection checklists, I'm gonna hop on as many as I can. I've bought 20 tokens and please do remember that there are no wristbands here if you do decide to come here. It's here all summer throughout until I think September or November. So if you want to come down here, please do come and support them. Anyway, let's get on our first ride of the day. I think I'm probably going to have to hop on. Ooh, I don't know, the waltzer looks pretty damn good, but I'm thinking I'll probably be ill if I go straight on the waltzer. So first ride for today, the Wild Mouse, co uh, Wild Mouse Coaster. Here we go. Scream, but you can't what? You can't cry. You can't cry? <laughs> oh, well, I'm afraid I'm in bad luck then, aren't I? <laughs> okay. okay Here we go on three, two, one. Yeah, boy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on the Wild Mouse Coaster. I am ready, ready, ready. Apparently, the rule is... Oh! Apparently the rule is you can scream but you can't cry, oh no! What a terrible thing. Okay, well I'm very excited. It looks great over here. What a lovely sunny day. You get a really good view of the beach. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this, this will stay on, I really do hope it will. I can tell I'm gonna be, uh, I'm just gonna be absolutely dying the entire time. Okay, there we go. Oh, that looks like a steep drop. Stomach is gonna fall out from underneath me. Yep. Oh! Yep, that was good, actually. That, was, that wasn't too bad. I am ready for the trim brakes, though. I have to be ready for them, because they're gonna be rough. again, darn it! Why? Okay, lovely. I'm, I'm always watching out for the trim brakes. I'm waiting for them. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, God, there it is. Oh, there it is. There are the trim brakes. There they are. Love the sound effects. Perfect. I was going to say, because um, last year I came on this for the first time, and the brakes were so harsh. Every time. Oh yeah, that is. <laughs> oh, well thank you very much. Nice to meet you by the way, Chris. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Okay, so that was the Wild Mouse Coaster. Not too bad. The brakes weren't too harsh. I thought they were going to be a lot rougher. That first drop though is very... Uh, it definitely does take your stomach out of your body. It really does feel as though something's just going to fly off. Um, but it, it is a really nice, smooth coaster. You may be thinking, oh yeah, it looks like a Pinfari, so of course it's going to be rough. Quasar, are you going to be all like, oh god, Crazy Loop all over again? But no, it's nothing like Crazy Loop. A lot smoother. I recommend this fully. Plus, it is brand new. It was brand new built last year. So yeah, come down and take a look at it if you want. It's not too bad.
Mouse wasn't too bad, a nice smooth coaster, pretty much brand new. It always feels great to ride a brand new coaster because you know that commonly, unless it's manufactured by Pinfari, which I don't think that one is actually, uh, it's gonna be right, it's gonna be smooth. So, next ride of the day, I absolutely love waltzes. Let's talk a minute about waltzes. Surprise everyone, it's a mini segment where Quasar talks about how much he flipping love, loves waltzes. Why? Because he's tripping up his words and he doesn't have anything better to do because for goodness sake I love waltzers I just I just can't even they are extremely fun extremely cool and always the best looking thing in a fair this one looks absolutely gorgeous because it looks like it's been cleaned to heck in case you don't know waltzers are really the king of the fairground if there is a waltzer in your fairground you better be sure that you're not gonna make much money on the other things um, <laughs> I'm kidding I'm kidding of course but certain waltzers are so Incredible. One of the best waltzes in the country is the Evans Atmosphere Creator. That's a ton of fun, it's extremely fast, it's pretty extreme, and it's got a fantastic light show. When you go on it, it's more like you're going to a portable nightclub. It's like the ride is a nightclub, as opposed to anything else. It's got strobe lights, it's got smoke machines and everything. This one doesn't have the same kind of uh, feel to it, it isn't like a rave on wheels, but all the same, it, do it does look like a lot of fun. I do love waltzes. Funnily enough, we had a waltzer in Vision Park at one point, but it was connected to the diner, and it wasn't exactly the greatest waltzer in the world. It didn't go up and down like this, it didn't have any lights on it really, um, it wasn't very interesting, it was very basic, and it wasn't very attractive at all. Waltzers are supposed to be a ton of fun, they're supposed to be, or at least they've transcended and they've started to become kind of like nightclubs on wheels. When you go to a waltzer, at least when I go to a waltzer, I expect big lights, big party, bo booming music, and a ton of fun. So this one looks like it's definitely going to be up to standard. It looks like a lot of fun. And I'm gonna hop on there now. Of course, you already know, by the time you're watching this, the Starlight Waltzer has already come out at Vision Park, so I don't even need to kind of hold the secret anymore. Um, most of my inspiration uh, for the Starlight Waltzer came from a few online videos, but this one, I just, I, I can't avoid a Waltzer. Even though I did in the last one, that's because in the last vlog I actually did go on it, but I went on it on a different date and didn't film it. So this one, on the other hand, I will film, and I very much hope it's a ton of fun. I think it will be. I'm very nervous, though. <laughs> I've sat down, but the bar is nowhere near my actual hips, so that's fun. Okay. Here we go. On the waltzer, I am flipping terrified. Because I do love waltzers, but at the same time, they're really, really fast sometimes. This one looks like it's supposed to operate on its own because we've got no runners. We've got no one actually running on the track. So I am gonna tighten everything on this to make sure that my, <laughs> that my camera is gonna actually stay in the car. Oh hell, we haven't even got up to speed yet. Okay, okay, so this is all for research guys, this is all for you, I hope you're happy. I hope you're really, really happy. Oh, the G-forces, my god. Okay, remain calm Quasar, remain calm. Oh, yeah baby, that's what I'm talking about. So this is it, boys and girls. I hope that you all really enjoy, even though the waltzer is already out at Vision Park. On the day this video is going to be posted, um, the waltzer in Vision Park is already going to be out. But at the same time... Oh! Oh! At the same time, I have to do this. It helps me vitally with uh, different kinds of attractions. So, see how fast a waltzer goes. Um, on, uh, on camera, and then, oh, and then I can see how fast I should make my waltzer. I hope that they're open late at night, because if I can come back late at night and they've got all the lights going, that'll be flipping fantastic. Oh, waltzers always look best at night. I'm the only one on this waltzer right now. Oh boy. Oggy, oggy, oggy! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, there's 
the fun. <laughs> Not the harshest waltzer I've ever been on, but definitely one of the nicest looking. I always say waltzers until last. What the heck was I thinking going on this second? What the heck was I thinking? <laughs> on the entrance, normally the cars normally spin around the most when you get near the entrance point because I think that's the lowest part of the ride, so therefore it, you know, has the most swing. But yeah, for the uh, for a one for a one man rider, I think I got a pretty good cycle there. probably already noticed that the brand new love of my life, the Starlight Waltzer, is now available to ride in Vision Park, and I am so proud of it. The Starlight Waltzer is a brand new attraction that just opened today by the time you're watching this in Vision Park, and I hope you will enjoy it. I want to capture that kind of rave boom boom like this. Oh yeah, mm, ah, e, yeah, oh yeah, let's do some dancing, baby. Fast legs. Let's just walk down the let's walk down the rest of the park like this. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, waltzes! All of the rave music that you get is just great. I don't really like electronic music or rave music commonly. Um, it's pretty good for a fun time, especially it works really nicely in fairgrounds because you're like, ooh, yeah, dodgems, dodgems, dodgems. But, <laughs> like, bash to the beat if you like. But, yeah, I really wanted to capture with the Starlight Waltzer the atmosphere creator style of Waltzer because they are so unique and so much fun. I'm sure that it's going to be rather controversial, but as soon as you guys see it, if you haven't seen it already, I'm hoping that you enjoy the Starlight Waltzer. If it does lag the park a bit too much, because I'm pretty darn sure it will, uh, <laughs> I'm really, really sure it will, especially after the new attraction comes out next month in uh, July. But if you guys enjoy the Starlight Waltzer, please do let me know. Uh, let me know what you think of Funland at the Tropicana here today, because I really like it. Uh, for what they've got here, you know, they've crammed a lot in this tiny space, because I don't know if you know, but when you come here, it's really, really small. There's the entrance, there's the back wall. You know, it's like, it's about what, 100 feet each way, because it only used to be a swimming pool. I think it was an outdoor swimming pool, but I'm not entirely sure. Point is, it used to be a swimming pool site, so if you want to come here, please do help out your local fares, because these guys have to travel all over the country. They take things down, they put them back up within about five or six days. It's a huge operation. It takes a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of care. And all showmen, I think, do it because they really care about it. And that's what I really love about fun fairs, is that there's so much passion behind it and there's so much excitement. Here we are, on the Yeti. We're gonna go. I am... I am just... I'm lovely. I am lovely. I love having a whole fun fair or a whole, you know, park to myself. It's just great. I mean, imagine if you had Thorpe Park or Alton Towers to yourself. That's what I'm feeling right now. This is... this is great. Ooh, here we go. The 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I am ready. I am very ready. Yeah, close up those gates. Okay, here we go. On the Yeti. Ed Eakin Events. Ed Eakin Events. Okay, guys, you want to hire a Yeti? Just go to edeakinevents.co.uk. Okay, let's do it, do it, do it. And gentlemen, show Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was not messing around. It's just like right up, ready to go. Here we go. Way! Way! Woo! 
if I were not holding the camera, I would definitely put my hands in the air to go faster. But you know what? <laughs> I think the seatbelts, the unlocked seatbelts are having a more fun time than I am. <laughs> All for the vlog. Do it for the vlog. Do it for the vlog. I'm doing it for the vlog. Oh, you've got some serious. I mean, it's really nice. It's really smooth in comparison to other ones I've been on. I can't remember what this one is called though. This would be a lot of fun to have in Vision Park though. So uh, yeah, just for future reference, I'm not doing this for this summer. I'm sorry. These attractions that you see in these research vlogs are not going to be used this year. They are instead going to be used probably next year. Oh, he almost dropped us there. Either that was settling, broken, or, or he was just letting us kind of Wait in anticipation. He is waiting. He is waiting to drop it, and I'm going to flipping scream. You get a whole view of the park. Oh no! Now we're going backwards. Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh, hold on to your everything. <laughs> if the hair goes in front of the camera, I apologise because it most commonly will. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. I'm coming on this again after this. <laughs> I thought my seatbelt unlocked there. I was really lucky it didn't. I thought it did. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, here come the next riders. Deep snow on a seaside resort in the middle of what I think is May. Is it May? Let me think. Hang on. No, it's not June yet. January, February, March, April, May, June. It's May! <laughs> so, the three new attractions. Can I just mention, attraction doesn't necessarily mean ride. You know, a ride means something that takes you around, like the Yeti or, you know, the pirate ship over here or the roller coaster. Those are rides. Attractions are more like situated still things that don't necessarily move you at all. So, War on Planet X is an attraction. Fun House is an attraction. Um, Final Hour Hotel Rooms which you should know by now because it's in the update. If you haven't gone and played it yet, go and play it because darn it, you're missing out. All the other VP fans are probably, you know, on Vision Park right now. They're like, Quasar, we don't want to watch you talk in this copyright ridden fun land. We want to go on the VP update that we've been waiting for months and months for and just freak out over the fact that you've made another waltzer and the lag is just unbearable at this point. It's no secret to everyone that I love Ghost trains! I can't believe it! In the last vlog, in the last thing, in the last whatever you want to call it, I said I never see travelling fun fair ghost trains. I don't know why. All of the fun fairs that I go to, or at least all of the ones that come to me, never ever have fun houses or ghost trains for no specific reason. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a hand hanging out of the window. Oh. The, most the ultimate experience ever. Oh no, they're not using that. Okay then. Off we go. Copyrighted, copyrighted music. I'm ready for the spooks. It's gonna be really dark in here, so you probably won't see much. Sorry guys. <laughs> Oh my god, the boy! That boy! Everywhere! Smoke! Oh my god. That's actually pretty good. That's a damn good smoke machine. Okay, spookiness. UV paint. I hate UV paint. Oh! Terrifying. Terrifying. Jason, my boy. Lovely. This is actually a really good one. This is a pretty damn good one. Okay, so that was remarkably short. I thought it, I thought it was going to be a two-decker, but you know what? For a one-level ghost train, um, and for a travelling one, that was actually really good. That was a lot of fun. Um, pretty modern. All the effects seem to be working. Not bad. 
It's just my luck, isn't it, that the flipping operator for pirates is not here. <laughs> he left, or she left, as soon as like I walked past. Um, <laughs> they were finishing off the ride, and they had a couple of people on there, but they've probably gone on a break or something, which is odd, because it's only about 12 a.m. Uh, but yeah, I am nearing the end of my time here, to be honest, at Funland. It's a remarkably tight space, you know, for what they've crammed in here, for what they've built up and what they've got here. It's a pretty good event. Um, I do like it a lot. The Waltzer is a ton of fun. I think that if I had to pick a favourite ride, though, it would probably be the Yeti or the Wild Mouse out of the two. Uh, the Monster Express was fun, but at the same time, it was just like any other travelling ghost train, even though, you know, other ghost trains are definitely less impressive than that. You know, it wasn't too bad, it was a lot of fun. My real issue is that fun fairs really, really struggle to survive, especially if they're doing one pound fairs. The reason why they do one pound fairs is to draw people in because every ride is a pound, or the, at least most ride, rides at one pound fairs are a pound. But they are so expensive to run. That's why I was so surprised that I got a like three or four minute long run on the waltzer because a three or four minute long cycle with only one person on there and all of the lights going and so on. Can you imagine how much money they spend? I mean, what the heck? Why? Why is everything so expensive? Why does everything come down to money in the end? God, thank goodness I don't have to worry about that with Vision Park. But then again, that doesn't matter because Vision Park uh, has a different kind of fuel. We don't run on diesel or unleaded, we run on magic. <laughs> so yeah, Waltz is definitely tons of fun and I'm really glad I got a good cycle out of that. This looks okay, but it's for kids, so I can't go on it. I'm too tall. I wish I was shorter. I wish these legs were shorter. Sorry, everybody. I know you like my legs, but just... just I'm, this is one of the moments where I wish I didn't have these amazing legs, because then I'd be able to go on amazing things like this. Anyway, yeah, most of these vlogs is just going to be me going around and saying, oh, it's so clean. Oh, support your local fairs. But seriously, support your local fairs, because when they come to town and so on, it takes them a long time to pack everything up, move it along, and while this isn't a traveling fun fair, it is fixed. All the same, it takes a lot of time and money and passion for these showmen to come to these places. This is the thing you get um, in fairs and situated things like this. You get to meet people, you get to talk to people, and if you've got a camera on you commonly, people are going to want to talk to you even more because they want to see themselves on the telly. That's pretty much it, everyone, for Funland at the Tropicana 2019. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Uh, thank you very much, appreciate it. I love it. Such a positive uh, atmosphere. I love it. So yeah, come and take a look at it if you're near Western Supermare, if you're in the Somerset area, do come and take a look. Also, 20 minutes away from Western Supermare is Breen Theme Park, so if you want to go on some of my favourite attractions, you know, go for it. Just go. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next thingy doodah. Bye bye I sound like such a YouTuber right now. <sighs> And the employee of the week this week is... Super Ballet Girl. For operating Enigma as a member of Team Rocket.